Hello everyone. Welcome to the practical sessions on bioinformatics. Today we are going to perform the practical sessions on data retrieval from different databases. The first practical is on the data retrieval from the GenBank, which is a primary nucleotide sequence database available in the public domain. The procedure for all the practicals were provided in the Moodle platform and the first practical as the data retrieval from GenBank, uh, the procedure can be visualized from here. The aim of the practical is to retrieve nucleotide sequences of cellulose. This may be any gene of interest. Uh, according to your taste, you can select the concerned gene. Here I opted for the cellulose gene. The NCBI homepage is uh, uh, provided here. That is a www.ncbi.nlr.nih.gov. You can open this site. In the second step, the drop down, uh, in the drop down list, select the nucleotide and enter cellulase in the search text. Here you can see that. Here is a drop down menu. And in the drop down menu, you can select uh, nucleotide and enter cellulase. And search. Here is the list of the results. There is a, about 71,647 results were right there, and first two results were displayed here. Now, this next step that is provided in the procedure is to filter the list of entries in the result page using MR layout because this contains uh, all the types of uh, sequences including the uh, entire form zoom and uh, some gene information, mRNA, uh, expressed sequence types, various types of sequence entries were there. So if you are looking for the complete gene that may be calling for a particular protein usually you will prefer MR names. So in that case, you can click on the left side panel where more data types you have the MR name option here. And there is also other filters like species, for example, you are looking for some uh, cellulose genes from fungi or proteins or bacteria, you can uh, have this filter supplied uh, on the cultured species or genus. And if you are looking for some particular type of uh, uh, molecule like uh, RNA, uh, mRNA or rRNA or Enter genome DNA, you can apply that filter also. Here in the procedure, I have mentioned to filter it using mRNA option so that all the mRNAs will be listed and the other ones will be removed from the list. So, there is another you can see on the left side panel there is a different express sequence tags or, or different types of filters are customized for the filters are available. And now, uh, in this practical, we are selecting the filter mRNA which will uh, remove. All other sequences other than this 1488 entries. So now we have uh, 1488 entries which is listed here. They are uh, mRNA sequences as known as the cellulase gene. And uh, keep it in mind that all entries were not the complete sequences of the mRNAs, but for example, uh, cellulase from different. Uh, organisms may be listed, even cellulose binding proteins may also be listed here because the uh, uh, term cellulose, if it is present somewhere in the title, that will be listed in the query list. So, uh, you have to keep it in mind that all the entries may not be suitable for your application. So, you have to screen uh, these results one by one 
to find the optimal uh, gene of interest uh, from the list. Now, you can click on the entry to view the summary information on the first half of map. For example, if you are uh, interested in this particular entry, you can click on this uh, entry list. And this will give you the description about the concerned gene, the gene locus is provided here, and the de uh, description of the gene, for example, how carbocyl is uh, complete conserved in the domain sequence, CDS sequence is there, the accession number of the sequence and the version number, division version number of the sequence is provided there, the search terms uh, used for searching these gene cellulase or glucanase both will direct you to this search result. The source organism is also provided here and uh, the other information like references and uh, on the discovery of this gene and the audience who, is, uh, who published this work, uh, all these informations were there. And this is the uh, actual sequence of the uh, sequence all, but the gene sequence has come into MR is provided here. This is a sequence. And this is the uh, protein that is expected to be produced from this sequence by translating this gene sequence, the pro this protein may be produced. So, uh, this much information is provided in the entry. And if you want to download these sequence, for example, you can you can copy the sequence as such uh, from these uh, uh, results and copy it into a notepad because there is a, in the, at, at the first position there will be a number which will indicate the uh, number of the base uh, at the start point. For example, this is the first uh, base and this is the 59th base, or so, so 68th base. So these are uh, represented as a, uh, every line is represented as a 60 base per uh, sequence. So that line number, or the base pair in each, uh, starting base pair, uh, base pair in the, uh, each line is represented here. So this number need not be present in the actual sequence information. For which you will be required to display it in the FASTA format by clicking on the FASTA. So the FASTA file will be displayed here. As you know, the FASTA file which will contain the first line with the comment, which, start, which starts with the date of that sign. Uh, then the next line that is uh, the complete sequence of the uh, sequence information of the gene. Now this can be downloaded because our practical is uh, uh, to uh, retrieve the sequence uh, information from the genbank database. So once the FASTA file is displayed, now you can uh, click on send, complete report, to file in FASTA format and create file. So it will ask you to save, uh, open it, not, not to open, uh, click on save and open. So that file is downloaded and with the sequence uh, with the uh, dot pasta extension now that will be here for example uh, that sequence can be downloaded and can be opened with a notepad so now uh, here you can see this is the sequence that is downloaded now open it Then select a notepad to open that file. The notepad will be opened. So this is the sequence that is downloaded. First up, sequence. So this is how you uh, download the uh, first up sequence of a gen bank entry. So this is the different annotations which is given to the entry in the database. This is a previous page. So you can, uh, for example, if you are looking for a, a, a multiple sequence alignment with five different entities, or you can skip this one, and this, one, uh, this may be used. So you are downloading one, two, four, and five. Simultaneously, if you want to display and download these four entities of your interest for a multiple sequence alignment, then you can select all of them. Then display the pasta sequence. So the selected entry is the pasta sequence will be directly displayed in the list. Then 
you can send it to the complete report file faster create that that will be saved now the second sequence that is downloaded can be open with the notepad so the same file contains the first sequence and the second sequence third sequence and fourth sequence so this may act as an input or input file for uh, performing some multiple sequence arrangement in your computer so from the general you can either download a single sequence in the fast start format or multiple sequence in the fast start format using this technique so it's all about uh, downloading uh, sequences in fast start format from Gen 1 database.